Hello, mathematicians, and welcome to 4.1% Word Problems, where our essential question is, how do I use a proportion to solve percent problems? Go ahead and grab your needed supplies, your writing utensil, math notebook, a growth mindset, and some determination, because by the end of this video, mathematicians, you will be able to say, I can use proportions to solve percent word problems. What does percent mean? Let's take a second and break this word apart. We have per, which means to divide. And then we have cent, which maybe you've heard of that century or cent, like as in money. That means 100. And so the word percent means out of 100, to divide by 100, which you learned in our recent activity of converting between fractions, decimals, and percent. Okay, percents are just a special ratio. They are a proportion, but they're a special proportion because that second quantity is always 100, okay? And so second quantity always is going to be out of 100. Here is the proportion that we use. We take the part over the whole and set it equal to the percent over 100. And you're always looking for either the part the whole or the percent. The only thing that will always, always, always be the same is this 100 because the word percent means out of 100. All right, we're ready to start looking at a problem. So here's our first one. Sam is taking a math test. He has answered 20 questions. The progress bar says he is 10% complete. And so how many questions are on the test? The first thing you want to do is figure out what is missing. Do you have your part? Do you have your whole? And do you have the percent? One of those things will be missing. One of those will be our X, our unknown value, our variable in our proportion. And so the first piece of information that we come to is he has answered 20 questions. Is that part of the questions on the test? Is that all of the questions on the test? Or is that a percent? You got it. That's just part of the questions on the test. The whole would be how many questions are on the test altogether, and that's what it's asking us. It says how many questions are on the test. So my whole is my unknown. I don't know. And then percent, it says he has completed 10%, so that is my percent. Now we're going to take this information and plug it into that proportion that we just talked about that's at the top of this screen. So here it is, part over whole equals percent over 100. I'm going to replace the part with 20 because that's what we said it was. The whole gets replaced with an X because we don't know. Percent gets replaced with a 10. And then, like I said, that 100, always the same. Now we are ready to solve this proportion. So we're going to do some cross multiplying. 10 times X is 10X. 20 times 100 is 2,000. We've got a one-step equation here, so we're going to do the inverse of multiplying and divide both sides by 10. X is 200. That means on this test, there were 200 questions. Aren't you glad I didn't give you that test? Okay, let's take a peek at another one. Here, Andrew is completing his math homework. He has answered five questions. He is 20% of the way finished. How many questions are on his homework? So essentially the exact same question, except that it's homework instead of a test. Remember, something will be missing. The part, he has answered five questions. The whole, we don't know how many questions are on his homework, but we do know that he has finished 20%. So now we're going to take that information and plug it back into our proportion. So the part is five. The whole is who knows. The percent is 20, and we're ready to cross multiply again. So 20 times x is 20x. 5 times 100 is 500. Do the inverse to solve this one-step equation. Divide both sides by 20, and we come up with x being 25. Andrew had 25 questions on his homework. All right, next question. Bryson already mowed 15 out of 25 lawns. He has to mow this week. What percent of lawns does he have left to mow? So I'm just going to tell you right now, this one's a slight bit different and will trick you. But let's just go ahead and remind ourselves something will be missing. What is the part? It says he's already mowed 15 out of 25 lawns. How many does he have left to mow? 
How many of you just said the part was 15? Yeah, common mistake. I told you this one will trick you. 15, he's already mowed 15 out of 25 lawns. Those are done. Check them off the to-do list. They are complete. The question says, how many does he have left to mow? So if he's already mowed 15 out of 25, the part is 10. That's how many he has left to mow. The whole, we know he has 25 in all. And then the percent is what the question is asking. So that is our unknown. Now that we've gotten past that part, we're ready to just plug everything in to where it goes and set up our proportion to look something like this. And that sets us up to solve this thing with some cross multiplying. So 25 times X is 25 X. 10 times 100 is 1000. Dividing both sides by 25 tells us that X is 40. So taking that back to our problem, what percent of lawns does he have left to mow? Bryson has 40% of his lawns left to mow. So always read those questions carefully so you don't miss what it is asking you. All right, next problem is about Alandria. She earned an 85% on her math test. The whole test had 30 questions. So what part of the total amount of questions did she get correct? All right, so again, something's missing. Our part, how many questions did she get correct? That is what we don't know, so that's our X. The whole, how many questions were on this test? 30, and then the percent, we know Alandria made an 85%. So we take that, we plug it into our favorite proportion here, and we are ready to cross multiply. 30 times 85 and 100 times X. I'm throwing those in there a little backwards, but you get the gist. It gives us 100 X equals 2,550. Going to divide both sides by 100, and X is 25 and a half. So taking that back to the story, it was asking us how many did she get correct? Alandria answered 25 and a half questions correctly. I'm betting on that half. She forgot to show her work. All right, next question all about Henry. He's already read 120 pages of his book, which has 150 pages total. What percent of the book does he have remaining to read? Remember, we're going to have a missing part, and I hope that you caught it. This is another tricky one. He has 30 pages remaining to read. The part is not 120 because that's what he's already read. And the question says, how many does he have remaining? How many does he have left? So the part is 30. The whole, the whole book is 150 pages. The percent is what we're trying to figure out. Let's plug it into our favorite proportion here. And that's going to set us up ready to solve. So we're going to do that beautiful cross multiplying again. 150 times X is 150 X. 30 times 100 is 3000. Dividing both sides by 150 tells us that X is 20. Back to my storyline, he has 20% of his book left to read. All right, mathematicians, you are ready to move into the practice portion of today's lesson. However, this is the end of 4.1% Word Problems video. I hope you can now answer the essential question, how do I use an algebraic equation to solve percent problems? Let me go ahead and give that shout out to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, and Wright Lovely for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.